Well, good morning. Uh, I didn't think I'd be doing this today. And uh, to be quite honest, I'm not too sure <laughs> why I'm doing this today. It is minus five degrees Celsius in the nation's capital. My life on two wheels. I am cycling on the Colonel By side of the Rideau Canal. The Rideau Canal over my right shoulder, as you can see, it's frozen. No skating yet, that's coming. God damn, it's cold. <laughs> so yeah, minus five. And uh, feels like minus 12. This is really gonna be a noodle. Noodling along. I got the uh, knobbies on and uh, yeah, grin and bear it. Ottawa in December, gorgeous. Who wouldn't want to live here? Again, I apologize profusely. I think I did this a few videos ago when I was out and it was a little inclement. I apologize profusely for the, uh, the snot factor. I'm sure in uh, 4K, it's just glorious. Anywho, hey, listen, over my shoulder here, Morning. Those are uh, huts for uh, the commencement of the skating season. So they're in place. Yeah. There's also a, uh, I think that's a poutine hut <laughs> a little further back as well. Because we've got to have our poutine if we're going to be skating. So uh, yeah, soon enough, we will be on there. As I mentioned before, that is arguably the largest, longest skating rink in the world. Uh, I'm at the Bronson entrance. Yeah. I guess a question of the day would be, what is the coldest that you've ever ridden the bike outside? I'm sure minus five isn't too bad. I know I have some friends who have been out minus 10. I have friends who do a thing called snurt riding, which is snow and gravel, and they've gone out and it was truly Baltic. Minus 15, minus 20 Celsius. So today's not too bad. Balmy, some might say. Rideau Canal, uh, as you can see, it's in a bit of a state right now. We don't actually skate up this far, uh, right over here. It's an area called Hogsback. That's the Hogsback Bridge. And the Rideau River is on the other side. So this is the, uh, the old lock system that we put in place. Yeah, fascinating stuff. <sighs> Trying to find dry pavement. Uh, it hasn't been too bad so far, but uh, the quest continues. Didn't bring the uh, big camera today uh, for a couple of reasons. I think mostly because I wasn't too sure about the terrain. It's been icy, rainy, and uh, I didn't really trust myself with that beast on my back. I don't have the best bike handling skills anyways. 
and you put that monster on your back and it changes everything so GoPro today I'm on um, Prince of Wales Drive on like a uh, bike pathy thing heading up towards the experimental farm <laughs> your winter tour of Ottawa continues so I noticed that um, they don't do a great job plowing or clearing the bike lanes they tend to push the snow from the roads into the bike lanes so uh, it's a little sketchy but in saying that they are surprisingly clear see what I'm saying I want to say that Ottawa does a pretty good job preparing for uh, for winter activities um, I, you know we spend so much time indoors over the winter uh, you know they really make an effort so like I said that's gonna be one mammoth skating rink soon enough uh, check out these little uh, chairs what are these a rondack <laughs> a rondack chairs I think they're here in the summer as well just uh, sprinkled around so you can sit back relax and enjoy the view of Dow's Lake One of the reasons I wanted to get out and get some fresh air today was I think I was in um, the seven circles of hell this morning. I went to the grocery store and I got stuck in line. It was busy enough uh, just because we're getting close to Christmas, but I got stuck in line uh, behind uh, one of these people that, that do the uh, price comparison, price check. Um, yeah, almost lost my shit. <laughs> the seven circles of hell mm hmm yeah so I wanted to get out clear my head a little bit get some fresh air and uh, yeah so far so good it's working quite a few people out a lot of runners uh, I actually when I used to run I used to enjoy this time of the year um, and uh, they do a way better job now clearing the pathway this is a multi-use path over here uh, they do a way better job clearing that uh, for runners, cyclists, fat bikes. I've seen a few of those today. Anyways, I'm almost home. Let's uh, let's get going. Okay, so that's the ride done and dusted. You know what? Yeah, it, uh, turning around into the headwind uh, sucked a little bit. It was pretty cold, but I think a if you dress appropriately and uh, b know your limits. Uh, don't go out for a two hour ride when it's minus five unless you plan on multiple stops uh, you know that's what I suggest if you have different feedback please put it in the comments below let me know and again question du jour um, coldest temperatures you ever run your bike in see I mean, I'm having a hard time talking that's how cold it is jaw is not functioning and again apologize for the old snot factor <laughs> have a fantastic weekend Christmas content coming next week um, and uh, give this video a like or uh, click the subscribe button below and uh, we'll catch up and we will regroup next week take care